Countless people planning to travel internationally are caught in a backlog to get their passport. And if you're one of them, you could be in luck. Yeah, KCAL's Rachel Kim explains what's happening to help speed up the process and get you on your way. And my mom, my siblings, my nephews are in the Philippines and it I feel like it'd be a dream come true to see them again. Natalie Jose and her dad got in line at the Van Nuys Passport Office Thursday afternoon, hoping that her dream will come true on Sunday when her flight leaves for the Philippines. But there's a problem. I'm nervous. It's like I want to go visit my family, and then at the same time, it's like I don't have a passport, so I don't know how I'm going to get home. Eager to reunite with her family, who she hasn't seen since before the pandemic, the 16 year old turned in her renewal application in person at the Van Nuys office in May and even tried to expedite it a couple of weeks ago, but she hasn't received her passport yet. We're really hoping to like be able to receive it within tomorrow or the day after because it's, it's crazy these days. <laughs> The State Department says more Americans are traveling internationally again. The agency is on track to set the record for the highest demand year ever. So the agency is holding in-person special passport acceptance fairs at post offices, libraries, and local government offices. These fairs are for first-time applicants, children under 16 years old, people whose passport was issued more than 15 years ago, and for those whose passports were stolen, damaged, or lost. There will be one at the Ventura County Law Library tomorrow from 8 a.m. to noon. Keep in mind, the State Department says routine passport processing times take 10 to 13 weeks. Expedited processing is 7 to 9 weeks, but that costs an extra $60. I did expect a quicker response, but uh, I was kind of wrong about that. Those who need a passport for urgent travel are being told to make an appointment at a passport agency or center. Natalie's hoping to walk out of this office with good news. I just hope that it can come just in time for the flight. Yeah, I really hope it happens. Rachel Kim, KCAL News.